today's video is very exciting because it is going to be my first thrift vlog slash haul ever. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now and I used to be a big thrifter back in the day and then I just stopped. I don't know why I stopped but I'm excited. I'm gonna go to I think two different thrift stores today but yeah we're just gonna see what kind of fall pieces I can find. I love the process of thrifting. I think it's so fun. You just are literally on a scavenger hunt for like anything that really fits your style. So I am very excited. I thought it would be fun to bring you guys with me because I love watching these types of vlogs. So I thought why not just do one myself. We're going to see what we can find today. Hopefully the thrift gods are with us. I'm going to show you guys my outfit before I head out. So it's actually pretty overcast outside. So it kind of feels like fall. So I thought I would wear a cozy sweater so this sweater i just got it's from bow and arrow clothing i know it's going to be available online on september 10th so i'll link the website below the jeans i'm wearing are from free people hat is also from free people wearing these little loafers also from free people then i'm just bringing this bag from urban outfitters and i have a reusable free people bag in here so i don't need to take a bag from the Goodwill stores. If you ever need a fall or autumn themed album, listen to this one by John Mayer. Got you guys set up in the car and we're gonna head to the first location which is actually literally two minutes away from my house. We're gonna go and we're gonna see what we find. I didn't even mean to park in this good of a spot but look you can literally see Goodwill right there. So I'm about to go in. I just got here it literally took not even two minutes. Okay let's go. back in the car finished at the first goodwill stop and now i <laughs> have a knife in my hand because i just went to starbucks i was so hungry i haven't eaten since the morning when i ate oatmeal so i decided to get a multi-grain bagel with their um avocado spread and i was gonna wait and get coffee in the next town that we're going to i just like caved and just got a pumpkin spice latte which by the way Pumpkin Spice has been back for about maybe a week. This is my third Pumpkin Spice latte since they've been back. That's good. But apparently they're vegan now, so that is why I'm eating them. I honestly forgot how like time consuming thrifting can be because you really have to have patience um, to find like good stuff, honestly. Um, I did find a few things, spoiler alert, but I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. And this Goodwill is actually pretty small and doesn't have as much as the other one does that we're gonna go to. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to see what the other store has because actually I don't wanna say anything because then it'll spoil what I got. I'm gonna finish eating and then I'll vlog when we're on our way to the next store. Can I just 
say that October is going to be the best month ever because my two favorite bands, Laney and the 1975, are both releasing their new albums. I mean, what? I cannot wait. The only way to get past this feeling is to tell myself you're not coming out. I swear I just keep getting the best parking spots because we are at Goodwill number two. Also haven't been to this one in quite some time, so I'm excited, I'm hopeful and optimistic that we will find some good sweaters today. Let's go in and check out what they got. Okay guys, I'm back in the car now. I would say that was pretty successful, honestly. I got a bag full and then two other things that I took out of the bag before I went into the store. So I'm excited for this. I think I did pretty well today. Now I'm going to head home and I'll probably film the haul when I get back. But it's such a nice day out. I kind of want to take a walk in the park, but I also kind of have to pee, so it's like, what do I do? But I might just like take a little walk and then leave right after. This guy looks like my uncle. All right, so I'm now back home and I'm ready to show you guys what I got. I think overall today was a huge success. I got some really great pieces that I'm very excited to style for this fall season. One thing that I did realize, however, when I was thrifting today, it was that there's a very fine line between certain things that look cute and vintage and upcycled and then things that just look a little bit too grandma-ish. <laughs> that was kind of the one thing I struggled with was that I tried on some really funky different pieces and then some sweaters, but either they were just way too big or they remind me of something that I swear my grandma has worn before. Honestly, some of the pieces I got today might look like something that your grandparents own, but honestly, this stuff I think I can make work in my wardrobe. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things that I got at the first Goodwill, and then we'll do it at the second location after. The first thing that I picked up at the first Goodwill is a turtleneck. So it is just this really thick knit black turtleneck. Obviously, it's very basic, so this is something that can be styled in a ton of different ways, especially for the fall and winter time. It's not really by a specific brand or store, it just kind of has like a tag on it that says the size, but it is very good quality, and I wanted a turtleneck that was thick, but also thin enough to layer under jackets and stuff, so I thought this one was perfect, and it's a good length. The sleeves are the perfect length if they're just folded up a little bit. This next thing probably has to be one of my favorite purchases of the day, if not my favorite. So I'm a huge fan of maxi dresses and maxi skirts, so I flipped when I found this one because look at this color. <laughs> this is a long maxi skirt, and it is the perfect length on me. I'm not too tall. I'm 5'4", I believe. It is such a good length, and the colors, like what? So fall. Like, I don't know how I found this. <laughs> I just thought this was gorgeous and I have a ton of different tops that I can wear it with. I can even pair it with that turtleneck and then like a really nice jacket. Oh, 
I just thought of a great outfit. If you want to see a video of me styling these thrifted pieces, let me know in a comment below. So I was really only able to find those two pieces at the first Goodwill because like I said earlier in the vlog, they just didn't have as much. They are a smaller store, but I did try on a lot there. So the first thing I got at the second Goodwill location was actually not a piece of clothing. It's this little basket. <laughs> I saw this little basket and I was like, that is perfect to fit my entire makeup collection, honestly. So I'm gonna put all my makeup in here. I can take it with me into my room if I wanna do my makeup in here or into my bathroom. It's just like a nice little basket. I could also put other things in here too, but I got it with the idea that I would put my makeup in here. Honestly, I was pretty disappointed in the men's t-shirt section at both of these Goodwill locations. They were just lacking, like they didn't have many options. I got two at this location. <laughs> this one's interesting. So it looks like this is from a fall music festival for Dave Mason, and I honestly don't know who that is. If you do, let me know what songs he sings below. I don't know, I guess I just liked the colors in it. It's got like a light brown and a blue, kind of like the contrast of it. But I'm definitely going to be cropping this one and then cuffing the sleeves as well. And I think it'll just be nice to just throw on and then put like a chunky cardigan over it for the fall. The next top that I got is very, very basic, but it is just a huge black tee. It literally has nothing on it, but it is kind of worn in, which I like that look. Obviously, there's so much you can do with a basic black tee, and maybe I'll even do a styling video on how to style a black tee. It looks really cute when the front of it is tucked into a pair of jeans. Since it's so big, the sleeves are more like quarter length. I just thought it was a good staple to have, and it was probably like $2, honestly. I did kind of go a little bit crazy on the turtlenecks, but I got another one. This one has a different fit, though. The other one was a more fitted turtleneck. This one's a little bit looser, but it looks like this. I know it's kind of hard to see, so it's like black. Well, actually, this one's more like charcoal. This one has a more loosely fitted bottom, I would say. This also looks really cute with the front tucked into a pair of jeans. It's also a little bit less thick than the other one. I'm probably just gonna be wearing all turtlenecks this fall and winter season, honestly. So that's my excuse. <laughs> the final thing that I got today is a grandpa sweater, which I love so much. I was not having the best luck in the sweaters department because everything was just a little bit too big, but this one I really liked. So it is this Hunter green color or this more like forest green. I think it will keep me very warm and paired with like a dark wash pair of jeans and like this hat that I'm wearing. It's a look. I love this. So that is basically everything that I picked up today on my little thrifting trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys liked coming with me on my little thrifting journey. Like I said, I think I was pretty successful. So at the first Goodwill I spent $11 and at the second one I spent $18, so about $30, which is pretty good for that many things. I'm actually planning a thrifting trip in San Francisco with one of my really good friends, so if you wanna see that, let me know in a comment. I'll probably vlog it anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.